another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today we're featuring uh, derelict cars. This is a 52 Chrysler DeSoto, kind of looks like a Chrysler DeSoto, kind of beat up, kind of ratty. The wheels might give you a clue as to what's going on, or maybe you saw it on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine. Let's bring in Jonathan Ward. He's the builder of this car. Jonathan, how you doing? I'm good. Good job. I, I love this thing. You. Let's uh, tell, tell people what we have here. Well, I have a bad habit of restoring stuff too nice, which I think you can relate to. But then it kind of gets to the point you're nervous to actually use it. Right. And with uh, two young sons and dogs and a surfboard and skateboards, I always wanted to just be a little bit more liberated to really enjoy it. So okay. through my company, Icon, we've sort of developed this style called derelicts. Mm -hmm. So we scour the land for the right patina, original cars, usually from about... 34 to 53 is the sweet spot. Right. And then we engineer modern chassis and running gear and emissions and AC and Bluetooth and insulation and all that good stuff to really create, as I see it, like an artistic, functional sculpture daily driver that you're not worried about being a jerk when you have to yell at someone. Yeah, so this is like one of those movies where the guy walks in the library and the librarian's got a hair up with the big pointy glasses. And but she's and wearing a hell of a titty. Yeah, and then she takes the, the thing on, oh my God, oh my God. And that's kind of what we have here. Well, let's, let's not hold the people off any longer. Let's open the hood and see okay, what we Okay, I'll got show you around. There. So uh, mechanically, keeping with the tradition, this car originally had a Hemi in it. Mm -hmm. So we actually kept the original valve covers from the original Hemi, but then this stuffed... This is one of my favorite set of valve covers. Me too, they're so pretty. They when you used to have this in red, and oh, it used to look really great. But this is a this is an engine out of what, a Dodge RT? Yeah, so this is an SRT86.1 oh, that okay. we stuffed underneath those valve covers. So this is what, 2010, 2011 Yeah, motor? 2010 motors, same 2010 as the motor. Okay, so basically all brand new running gear. Correct, okay. yeah, all, all current production. We did the full emissions, full OBD2 harness, and all right. that fun stuff. Um, what we did that was kind of fun, though, is like a lot of the connection hardware and details in this car make it uh, special. So like vintage aerospace hardware from some of the great leftover Burbank haunts of the oh, old yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like an old bread box to hide the modern filter. Right. This is actually a found uh, late 1700s uh, Tennessee whiskey bottle and oh, that's funny. the functioning overflow for the radiator. Yeah. Then we got a 40s siren hiding down there and uh, he had a uh, cavity. So we brass plated this and I left it on my buddy's porch in Malibu for a couple of months to get patina. So we okay. got a little cronk there for a little right. sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mr. DeSoto on the hood is now illuminated. I milled him out, so he's got a little diode in him. Oh, very good, yeah, yeah. And this car is just, again, it's liberating. It is so much fun. I've never had this much fun with any of the crazy cars I've ever owned. Right. Because I don't care. Right. I can take it down a dirt road, I can drift yeah. it sideways on Mulholland, I can park it anywhere, leave the windows down, and no one screws with it. And four-wheel disc brakes? Oh, yeah, six <laughs> pistons all the way around by our buddies at Wildwood. I love this. Yeah, Wildwood does a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 uh, they, they're really terrific. We use their brakes on all our stuff. And then on the inside, we recreated the original textile. Yeah. And we redid all the hardwood. But I left all of the patina of all the chrome work, because, you know, this is a Korean War era car. Right. And I kind of like the fact that all the original chrome was so crappy, it, right. it kind of adds character and complement. You see the nickel substrate. And right. It's kind of part of the fun. And then a modern column, but then we machined it to fit the vintage wheel to oh, try I see. and hide yeah, it. it moves. They never had that back in the day. Yeah. And then the gauges are all modern right. electronic units uh, from Shannon at Redline. And then uh, we left them patinaed and cracked and kind of well, crappy the, looking. The interior and the headliner, that's all modern. Looks like a new car inside. But all stock and true to the original car, with the yeah. exception of carpet. They would add rubber right. mats. My favorites, check out how this works. You can tell these guys were studying what was going on in like oh, yeah, look the, at that. the luxury rail cars and, right, and, and right. The, the steam liners and stuff. And just just got such great utility and And this window cranks up, right? Yeah, it's got the old crank and uh, now, the only thing I did was do a pretty high-end stereo system and flute cut the wood to hide right. the speakers. Otherwise, we left her dead stock. And then there's just nothing more fun than the old-school crank-up glass, you know? Let's see, we got, you got and it. It's like starting your Mercer. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Eh. Doesn't quite. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Very it's, cool. It's, it's just a... Don't have to sit. Now, to do the chrome on this car, if you were storing it... Originally, it probably cost you 15000 Yeah, and you'd have Easy. to send it somewhere far away where yeah, they yeah. let the environment go. Yeah. 
But you know, again, like I've, I've done that, I've been right. there, but this, I get more of a sense of history with the car. Yeah. I get more smile and less judgment. And it's just, it's, it's about the fun. But now DeSoto never made a town and country, correct? Correct. DeSoto did make a wagon, but the interior was really stodgy. Okay. Whereas Chrysler was going a little bit more okay. balls out on their interior so what design. You, is that a different front end? Yeah, I owned the car for about three years. I found it in Pacoima. Right. Loved the car. I didn't know why I had a couple silly ideas of what I was going to do with it. But I just hated the front end. It's a really ugly front end in my So opinion. you put the DeSoto front end? Yeah, so a couple years later, I stumbled into the DeSoto yeah. at a shop here in Burbank. And I knew that they interchanged. So I, that same night, bolted the DeSoto sheet metal on and then came on. I knew I had a plan at that point. And the cool thing is, this is a car you could drive across the country. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. it's, a, brand new, it's a brand new Dodge RT, basically. Oh, yeah, this is my yeah. daily driver. It's yeah. got 20,000 miles on it Now, I got to admit, the only thing that gives it away are these wheels, because when we did my 55 Buick, we made our own. We used the bigger wheel, 17-inch wheel, but we made our own hubcap. We spun them. So it looked original. That would be kind of a dead giveaway. Have you thought about putting an original style hubcap on there? You know, I have. And when we made these wheels with Wheel of Antique, we wanted to keep the profile and everything of mm -hmm. the stock wheel. And obviously, we needed the size for the performance brakes. But when I first put the caps on, one of them blew off and passed me on the freeway. Oh, that's not good. No, not good. So yeah, in my spare time, I will spin a set. But until then, I kind of like it just sort of the right guy knows something is up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I like, I like the, the authentic creeks. Just sounds like some bad haunted movie. <laughs> Look at that. You need to scratch it all up. Who cares? And then our lizard. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, all, all of my icons, you know, oh, our production vehicles. Oh, that's sticking out. Open yeah, that's all right. There you go. And all our one-offs always have uh, our little California blue belly lizard on it somewhere. Very cool. Why, thank you. Let's take this baby for a ride. Oh, yeah. I love how counterintuitive oh, yeah. how it looks versus how it feels. Yes. I love this car. Hey, what is that, an AMG Mercedes? Yeah, it's a 52 uh, DeSoto. Little V8, two barrel. <laughs> yeah, got uh, about 280,000. Oh, light change. The nice thing is when you crash into people with this car, they go, give me your insurance. Oh, never mind, you probably don't have insurance. I'm getting out of here. Actually, <laughs> I mean, it rides really nicely. It's Basically a brand new Dodge RT underneath, so it rides like one. Limited slip rear end. What rear end do you have in this? Oh, this one's running uh, 411. Oh, got 411s in it, so that's why she takes off pretty nicely. Yeah. And of course, the classic dashboard. Let's go have some fun with this thing. The nice thing is, the engine's basically a stock 6.1, right? Yeah. So. You know, I guess if you breathe on it, you might get more power out of it. But what you have here is a nice, reliable, dependable old piece of crap. I mean, imagine a cool car. You don't have to wash. Maybe clear a spot so you can see through the windshield. That's about it. That's all I do. Imagine being able to go to a car show and never having to detail your car. What's better than that? You just show up and you win. Well, this thing is so much fun, and it handles, you know, it's, it actually handles the corners like a modern RT, and just to see this body moving around, but you know, it's all real tight. It's really funny. It kind of makes you rethink the whole old car thing, because you don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to polish it. You don't have to wash it. Uh, let's take it up on the freeway, see how it cruises. I feel like James Mitchum in that movie, Thunder Road. You know, you're driving these big old 50s cars trying to outrun the cops. <laughs> I love how, look, you even have a, a modern type wheel here. Do Ralph Crandon bus driving if you want. <laughs> but they just made it look old. That's one of my pet peeves when I see uh, hot rods and they have the Big billet, shiny, yeah, bling, bling. column. It doesn't yeah. look, yeah, yeah. I like how you've integrated all the original gauge or kept all the original gauges. Yeah. 
And look, the air conditioner blows out of the speaker vent. And then we created this powder coat texture, so oh, I, I kept a patina. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah. This wouldn't have been padded, was yeah, it? Yeah, it's first year of the pad. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all dead in stock. And then we just repurposed the heater controls for the right. modern heat defrost. This is AC the horn and stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And this is your air conditioner and everything else? Yep. Boy, really nicely done. What is up here for stereo? Yeah, that's stereo and Bluetooth phone integration. Right. Oh, you got Bluetooth phone. Yeah. That's the big question with any period hot rod is, will it do a burnout? You know, I have a lot of faith in this whole heat. Well executed. There you go. Well, that's it. I'm never detailing a car again. See, see you guys <laughs> next week. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you, Jay. Very cool.